There we go. So the next question we're going to go through. We've got a parabola. What's the equation of our parabola is? X squared. Y equals X squared plus 7X minus, minus 5. And we have an equation of a straight line. And the straight line is? Plus 10. Okay. Minus 8X plus 10. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Speedy way, before I do anything else, I am going to go into graph. And I'm going to put my X squared plus 7X minus 5. Execute. And I'm going to go minus 8x plus 10 for my straight line. Execute. Draw. I'm going to go zoom. Auto. Nice. G solve. Intersection. Now, I'll only see one intersection. I know there's two. So it's a really good trick to understand that if the intersection's not visible on your screen, you won't get told it. So I'm going to go shift view window and I'm manually going to think, uh, I'll just go negative 20, I've no idea. Uh, does that help me at all? No, uh, view window, my Y max, I'm going to go like 300, I'm just like going all over the place. Execute, execute, right, now I can see both intersections. G solve, intersection. So I've got the first point of intersection, this one here, I now know is negative 15.94 for my x, comma, oh I said 3 dpa, 941, comma 137.52, round that to 8, that's my first point of intersection, I push the button to the side, and I've got my second point of intersection. This one here, I happen to know now, is 0 0.94, rounding it to 3dp, 2.472. And that's all to three decimal places. Okay, but this is an algebra internal. So this will not pass me because I haven't done any algebra. I've just played on my calculator. But at least this way I'll know when I've done my algebra whether I'm right or not. So I'll move this along that way and see if I can do some algebra. So let's call this number one and let's call the orange one number two. And we are going to sub, that there, sub number two, my straight line, into my parabola and what do I get uh, where if I'm subbing 2 and 1 where this where y was I'm going to write that so I've got negative 8x plus 10 equals x squared plus 7x minus 5 now my aim is to get everything on the left hand side equal to zero and it will be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I will have, um, I'm actually going to move all of these that way because I actually want to have a positive x squared. So I'll have x squared plus 7x, uh, the minus 8x becomes plus 8x on the other side minus 5 and the plus 10 becomes minus 10 and that all equals 0. I'm going to put the 0 this side actually because I've got room. Okay so simplifying I've got x squared plus 15x minus 15 equals 0. Remember if a equals b then b equals a. I can just swap the sides over without any problem. So now I'm going to go and write Graphics calculator, A equals 1, B equals 15, and C equals negative 15. 
So I go into my calculator. I'm allowed to use my calculator now. And menu. And I'm going into equations, which is just there. Execute. And I've got a polynomial. And I've got degree 2. So it's ax squared plus bx plus c. Check. Something x squared plus something x plus something. So my a is 1. My b is 15. My uh, c is negative 15. And I have got x equals, and let's have a look. Um, I'm just going to match this. I've got the uh, 941, which matches this point, And I've got the negative 15.94, which matches this point. So I'm agreeing with myself, so I'm thinking that my... Um, Algebra was good. So x equals 0 0.941 or x equals negative 15.941. Okay. Now I haven't finished. What do I have to do? I have to sub these values back into my easiest equation, which is that one. So sub this x value into here to get which y value? That y value and sub this x value into this equation to get this y value and then you would be done. If you want to get anything more than just passing you need to then make sentences about in the context what that means. Okay? So relate it back to the context and tell the story. Units is important. But in order to pass, we need you to actually use algebra. Okay?